The Bible is greater than other books as the blazing sun is greater at high noon than the glow of a single candle on your child's birthday cake. This book is greater than other books as the seven seas of the earth are greater than the dripping faucet in your bathroom. The Bible is the lamp unto my feet. It's a light unto my path. This is sharper than any two-edged sword. This separates the truth from a lie. This separates right from wrong. This separates wheat from tares. This separates sheep from goats. It's not my opinion. It's not your opinion. This is God's opinion. The Bible is the moral compass of the soul. It is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Atheists have lied about it. Progressives have mocked it. Dictators have burned it. Yet it rises from the ashes of rejection to live again, to bring life again, to bring love again, to bring joy again, to bring peace that surpasses understanding again, to bring a prosperity that is supernatural from the hand of God, to give hope to the troubled heart. This is the truth. What I'm going to say in a paragraph you could write a 400 page book about. This book contains the mind of God, the will of God, the way of God, the state of man, the doom of sinners, and the Magna Carta of happiness. Its doctrines are holy, its precepts are binding, its histories are true, and its decisions are immutable. Immutable means not capable of being changed. Read this book to be wise. Believe it to be saved. Practice it to be holy. The word of God is the light to my pathway. This is the bread of life. If you're not eating this, you are a spiritual skeleton. This word is meat for men. It is milk for children. The living water to those who hunger and thirst after righteousness. This book is honey in the rock that satisfies the soul. Here paradise is restored. Here the gates of heaven are opened wide and the gates of hell are closed. Here the word rules the law of the hearts. This guides our thoughts. This guides our speech. When you read this, when you speak this, when you pray this, demons in hell tremble with fear because you have that kind of power when you're reading this book.